Hey there, I want to share with you the story of why we have such beautiful dark skin. It is something people often notice and ask about. Our skin is often described as among the darkest in the Pacific. And it is not just a random thing. In fact, we are darker than most Africans. The South Sudanese and the Senegalese come close. Yet, we are not African. We are proud, black Pacific Islanders. Anthropologists like Douglas Oliver once noted that our skin is darker than any other Pacific Islanders. And he wondered, did we arrive this way or did we evolve here? For us, it doesn't really matter. We know it's part of who we are. You see, here in Bougainville, the sun is incredibly strong all year round because we are so close to the equator. Our dark skin, which has a lot of melanin, acts like a natural sunscreen. Melanin is the pigment that gives skin its color. And in our case, it is mostly eumelanin, which makes our skin very dark. This protects us from the harmful effects of ultraviolet radiation. Too much UV exposure can destroy important vitamins in our body, like folate, which is essential for having healthy babies, and it can also cause skin cancer. So, over time, the people with the dark skin were more likely to survive and have children, passing on those dark skin genes. It is nature's way of helping us adapt to our environment. But our story does not stop there. About 3,000 years ago, another group of people called the Austronesians came to our islands. They were from further north and probably had lighter skin. They brought with them new languages and cultures and we mixed with them. You can see that influence in our languages and traditions today. But even though we intermingled, our dark skin remained the dominant feature. Maybe because the environment there still favored dark skin, or perhaps our genes for dark skin were really just strong. Either way, our skin stayed dark, and it's a big part of who we are. Scientists have been studying our genes to understand more about why we look the way we do. For example, some of us have blonde hair which is pretty unique for people with dark skin. It turns out that is because of a special gene found only in our part of the world. It is not the same as the blonde hair gene in Europeans. This shows that we've evolved in our own way here in the Pacific. While there hasn't been a specific study on our skin color yet, it is likely that there are particular genes that make our skin so dark. Genes that have been passed down and kept strong because they help us thrive in this sunny environment. We've also been somewhat isolated on these islands for a long time, which might have helped keep our skin color consistent. Unlike places where there was a lot of mixing with the lighter skinned populations, our ancestors didn't have much of that. So, our dark skin traits stayed prominent. Plus, in our culture, dark skin has always been seen as beautiful and desirable. We believe beauty is in the eye of the island, and for us, darker skin has always been admired and respected. There is pride in our appearance, and it is possible that this cultural preference influenced who people chose to marry 
keeping those dark-skinned genes strong in our communities. It is something we've always valued. Now, some people might think that because our skin is dark like Africans, we must be more closely related to them than any other groups. But that is not the case. All humans outside Africa came from groups that left Africa tens of thousands of years ago. The reason our skin is dark is because we live in a place with lots of sun, just like Africa. It's an example of how similar environments can lead to similar adaptations even in different parts of the world. Meanwhile, people who moved to places with less sun like Europe developed lighter skin over time to help their bodies make vitamin D. But since we stayed in a sunny place, we kept our dark skin. It is what works best here. So, that is the story of our dark skin. It's a combination of our ancient ancestry, the powerful sun we live under, and maybe even our cultural pride in who we are. It is not just a physical trait, it's a testament to our history and our connection to this land. We are proud of it, and it's a big part of what makes us Bougainvilleans. Each morning, as the first light glimmers on the waters of the Solomon Sea, we feel our ancestors' gift coursing through our veins, blackness as a beacon, guiding our footsteps through fields of sorghum and along forest trails alike. In markets and village choirs, against the tides of colorism and erasure that sometimes swell even among ourselves, we stand rooted in pride drawing resilience from tenacious hearts that refused to kneel. In every heartbeat of Bougainville, our ancestors' gift endures, reminding us that blackness is not just the color of our skin, but the luminous essence of our shared soul. In every ceremony, from the rising of the upe headdress to the rhythmic drumbeats at night edge, our black skin glows with the remembrance of those who came before their voices carried on the ocean winds. If you enjoyed this peek into our world, drop a like, share your thoughts in the comments, and hit subscribe for more in-depth adventures into indigenous black cultures around the world. 5 Yupla time! Till the next video, see you, bye!